Okay, welcome back to Unreal Engine ND. Today we are going to have the player do the death animation and clean up some code when the player dies. Right here in Take Damage, we have if health less than damage amount, if it's less than or equal to zero, then the player dies. So what we want to do is we want to take the health and we want to just zero it out. And what you want to do is you want to disable like Simulate physics, the visibility, the collision channels, uh, set collision enabled to no collision, things like that. And what we can, how we can do that is pretty easily with get mesh. And we get mesh, we can do set simulate physics, and we can set that to false. And you can do get mesh, and we can say set visibility, set visibility, and we set that to false. And after the visibility, you can do get mesh. And what we want to do is set the collision to all channels, set collision to all channels. And what we want to do is do a E collision response. E collision response. And the response you want it to do is ignore. We do one last get mesh. And you want to set collision enabled. Set collision enabled. And we want to do E collision enabled and how do we want to do that is no collision okay with that and another thing in the future like if you add because with Wukong the the weapon was already there so if you add a weapon you will have to destroy that weapon so let's say you have a equipped weapon and what you want to do is just say destroy and what that will do will just destroy the weapon anything that's attached to the character you could also do it in blueprints as i'm going to show you right now that's within wukong character c plus plus you want to take damage, you want to get the mesh, simulate physics to false, visibility to false, <clears throat> response to channel, ignore, and collision enabled to no collision. Now let's go into the header file and under the protected section, right here, the protected section, we're going to do a blueprint implementable event. Okay, so in the header file, we want to say, uh, we'll just say handle that logic. Handle logic after player dies. And what we want is a U function blueprint implementable event and we're just going to call it it's going to be a void not returning anything it's a death of player and i believe that is really all we need and this just says blueprint implementable event function is not implemented in any blueprint but we are going to take care of that but first what we need to do 
death of player, you want to jump back into the CPP file. And I always make myself a note saying called in blueprints and blueprints and character blueprint just so I understand it is within the blueprints and what we can do is just say death of a player and what that's going to do is execute the event and then we can run logic within the blueprints so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the Wukong character, Wukong character blueprint. And we don't have much there. The gameplay we don't need, so let's just call event death of player. As you can see, it's right there. And what you want to do is come up here and get the movement. So when the player dies, you just want to say disable movement. We want to disable the movement and we want to play a montage. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and find the animation for the montage. Okay, so I found the animation. I'm going to show you something that I like doing, and that is if we go to Sun Wukong, we know that the animations in there somewhere so what we can do is let's just say death but there's a lot of death stuff as you can see here the first one is and let's just type death as you can see death animation sequence is there but let's say we have so much stuff and we really don't want to look through it you can come up here add an asset filter go to animation look for animation sequence and that will show all the animation sequence, as you can see right here. You can left click on it and disable it. So I like having a bunch of, like where it says blueprints, have that there, and some other things that I like searching for. And I can just go ahead and click on this, and it shows me what I'm looking for. You can middle click and remove the filter from here. So that's this little trick I wanted to show you. If I haven't shown it to you already, let's go into character. Let's go into montages. Let's go ahead and create a anim montage, animation montage. And it's gonna be from the Wukong skeleton. And it's gonna be death montage. And save that, open it up, go over to the asset filter and type in death. Well, there's only one. I thought you would have had maybe a couple, but oh well. Okay. And of course, you can put your anim notifies here. Just right click, do your anim no notifies. Uh, actually, you have to add a notify track. Remove notify track. And you can add notifies. Notify, notify, state things, whatever you want to do there. Let's go ahead and save this. Death montage. And we come over to the Wukong blueprints. And play, <coughs> play and on montage. And then Mason montage play anim montage play anim montage which one do we want to play the death montage of Wukong all right
Alrighty, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. What I'm going to do is come up here to Wukong, look for the Wukong blueprint, which is this one. Come over here, search for health, and I'm just going to say health is 10. So one hit should one hit should take us out. Here we go. And the reason uh, it went away is because we set the visibility. But I, as you can see, I cannot move around because it's disabled. And the reason. Simulate physics, visibility. That right there was set to false, so it just makes the player disappear. If you don't want that, you can keep it. I just wanted to show people how to do that. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to show something. Is this simulate physics and set visibility is being executed and the montage is not playing? If you, what we can do is just go ahead and comment these out. But now, what I would like to do is come in here. We've got this set up. What I'd like to do is come in here, right click, go to HUD, and go to Widget Blueprint. Click on User Widget. And I would just say death of player. <clears throat> death of player. So uh, let's come in here and put in canvas panel. Got a canvas panel. Let's go ahead and do an overlay, not an overlay. Let's do a blur, background blur. Put that on the top of the canvas panel. Click on background blur, take that, and we just want to do the whole screen. And after the background blur, actually the background blur, we need to set blur strength, which is right here. We just set that to two, and then we want to do text. Put that on top of the canvas panel. Do text, and then just say you died, and we'll just make that red. <clears throat> we want to anchor it to the, to the center. And drag it over. Zero it out. Alignment. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 to center it, and the text could be 75, maybe. Uh, just do 100, and then, whoops. So I'll set the text. Do text. I'll set that to one hundred. And I'll just go ahead and put that there.
There we go. I'm not the best at the UI stuff. Don't like it that much. So I'm not too worried about it, but you get the idea. Compile, save. Then what we do is jump over here. After play animation, you want to do create, create widget. And you want to say death of player. That's the widget we want to create. And then we want to add to viewport. Add to viewport. And we can open the maps. Was it? Is that test map that we're on? I believe so. And after that, add to viewport. You want to delay. Maybe would delay for like two seconds and then you want to open level and after the open level let's see test map after open level we're not going to do anything it's going to restart so let's come in here click play Go to Wukong, go to health, type in 10. There we go. Let's go ahead and get smacked. And if it will, there we go. You died. And it restarts. Okay, that's really all I wanted to show you is the death of the player and how you can disable the movement, the visibility. You can do a lot of things with this, the event death of player. You can do a lot of cleanup code that you need to do. This will definitely get you started. That's all I wanted to show you. Bye for now.